Hey guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. Today we're going to look at Bitcoin and Ethereum so we can get a broader view of the market. I've got another video coming out today, so stay tuned for that. It follows up on the 52 altcoins that I recently covered yesterday. So check out those videos after this if you haven't already to get up to date. Today, looks like Ethereum is going to continue ripping Bitcoin a new one and a lot of bullish Bitcoin news, but I remain cautiously optimistic of the markets. You know that from the charts, we'll look at the areas that I'm looking for support and resistance for bullish momentum continuation, or should we see bearish signals just for Bitcoin? So make sure you hit the subscribe button, bell notification icon, like the video up, goes a long way to helping out the channel. Let's dive in. First up, I wanted to say thank you for all of the comments on the videos. I'm loving the comments from you guys saying you're understanding how to trade or you're beginning to get a feel for how you can pick good areas of support and resistance and where to get into markets before you get destroyed from the masses. So congratulations to you guys who are getting uh, profits and learning more. I love seeing those comments in the comments section. Thank you once again, 143,000 on YouTube. We're screaming towards 150. Uh, a lot of Cardano and altcoin content coming up today as well. So make sure you're subscribed. Let's look at the coin market caps and we're at 2.5 trillion. So we are hitting new highs on the coin market caps uh, with Bitcoin still sitting underneath its old all time high. So this is just leaning more to the altcoin season. Obviously more money is flowing into Ethereum. Dogecoin is, is dropping. We've had heavy drops on Doge. So the money is going somewhere. We've seen Shiba Inu just screaming its way up the charts as well. Here it is, number 19 at a $12 billion market cap. Be careful of the meme coins. By all means, go and make a ton of money, but just be careful you don't get in too late to these uh, coins because you know what happens to them. They just go on a wild tear up and the harder they go up, the harder they come down. So let's have a look at Ethereum and its wild tear towards flipping Bitcoin. So this has been a big narrative in the cryptocurrency space of Ethereum getting its legs on. It has more usability in the space and therefore should be worth more than Bitcoin. We're not going to get into a full argument of who's right, who's wrong. We're just going to let the charts and the numbers and the money tell us where the money is actually flowing. So at the moment, Ethereum is at 45% of Bitcoin's market cap. So we're nearly at halfway. And you know what happens when we get to halfway is they are significant levels that people love to discuss. And by you, you will hear about this on crypto Twitter and YouTube if you aren't already hearing about it. And it'll just become more prominent as we cross the 8% mark. So we've been covering this for some time. We we're looking at Ethereum at like 19% and lower, of course. But 19% was really where I started looking at this Ratio Gang website. And we have just skyrocketed from that point. I suspect we will go further, uh, whether we do it now, different story, but I will show you that at the end of the video. I want to dive into where you can see on the chart of the buy support getting bought up on Ethereum and how you can look at that moving forward so that you can get a more comfortable and stress-free look at the markets. But first, let's turn our attention to Bitcoin. You know this chart by now. If you're following the channel, you know it. If you're not, make sure you hit the subscribe bell notification icon. We have been on the money with Bitcoin looking at this chart. 18th of April, massive day down. I refer back to this every video because you need to understand the importance of this bar here. Until we get above this bar here, the top at 60,400, I will be reserving my full bullishness. However, we are seeing some small bullish signs here or they're starting to get quite big. See this reversal at the low? Volume wasn't coming in so much, which is why we climbed up the charts one day, two days, three days, four days. The volume is just dropping off, dropping off, which means no one is there to support it. We are finding reasonable support at the $53,000 zone. And just two days ago was a clear example of that. Big drop down, and then the volume came back in. This was the highest volume we've seen since the dump on the 23rd of April. Now you can see here my buy level was around the 46k level. We hit dead on 47,000 on Bitstamp. At these levels here, we've covered Ethereum and Ethereum was having a major reversal while Bitcoin was heading lower. That was the buying opportunity on Ethereum. Very, very clear on the chart if you can read between the two, which is what we do here on the channel. Bitcoin dominance 
is still trending down. The lowest we've seen so far is 43%. Some exchanges are calling for 42%. You know our target is around 42%, which is our double top target set back from January where we first anchored this double top projection. So we're still on track there and this just goes towards the uh, altcoin season. So back to Bitcoin, let's have a look at this in a little more detail without all the lines. This is important to get an idea of the market, like how we are trending rather than just looking at good news after good news after good news because we see a lot of good news, which is what I'm going to get into in a moment. But these days in particular, as the market heads up, it begins to fail at those levels around that 58,000, which is how we knew we would get a little bit of a pullback. I was looking for potentially more, but these signals of the lows getting higher, you can see on this chart with these little blue arrows, this is where you can see that the market is deciding that there is support coming in higher and higher each time. So that is our first signal. We're trending up. This is only a daily chart. It's not a weekly chart which shows us the big overall picture and that's why you can get shaken out of your position if you're trading on hourlies, minutes, four hourlies and sometimes even daily depending on where we are sitting currently. That's important to note because a lot of people were freaked out at the drop the other day also went live on the channel. So this at the moment is still not 100% bullish uh, according to the charts. You know we're looking at 60,000 and if we ha happen to test these lower levels again at 53, I would say the probabilities of us going lower is much, much higher. If we test them and don't close above the 53 and a half level, then I think we'll probably come back to test this low once again around the 47, 48K level. So the only way we can cover that off is if we get a break above 60,000 and some closes with some volume, just to show that people are interested and keen on buying Bitcoin above that $60,000 level. This is the first good sign we've seen, big volume, that's why I'm excited for that. Let's have a look at the news we've got here. Michael Saylor, financial industry is taking crypto mainstream by building Bitcoin into their insurance, banking and investment products. 46 million Americans now own Bitcoin. Now from my last rough numbers, I knew of the population of the US being about 330 million. So that brings us up to about 15%, something like that. Anyway, around 12 to 15% of Americans now own Bitcoin. This is absolutely wild. Last bull market was nowhere near that number. So we are either seeing a little bit of a hold up here while the news continues to pump out through the masses so they can get back on board Bitcoin, or we're going to see some further signs of uh, screaming to new all time highs. That's why I think this is happening now. We're seeing a lot of mass adoption and uh, news of a lot of people owning it. So we're waiting for more people to come into the market, which is exactly why I think this is sort of going on here. This is good news for the institutions as well, at least more money coming in. Micro Bitcoin futures. These are not one whole Bitcoin. These are 1 50th the size of a Bitcoin futures contract. So hold up with the, the calculations here. A micro Bitcoin future is one tenth of one Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin's at 57,000, it's about 5,700. But a futures, a full futures Bitcoin contract is five Bitcoin. So that's why it's one fiftieth. So this just allows, uh, the launch of the micro Bitcoin futures allows uh, the markets to be more accessible to risk managers and other traders. So this is a good thing that we're getting smaller contracts in there. Otherwise people have to be trading 250, 300 grand contracts of Bitcoin. More good news, Bitcoin. Coinbase reaches number one on US Apple App Store. First time since 2017, way up the top here, someone screenshotted uh, their app list on uh, from the App Store. They don't have Facebook or YouTube on their phone. Looking further ahead, this is good news for Bitcoin and cryptos, of course, because it's way at the top of the list. People are buying it. Eventually, they are either buy some cryptocurrency, delete the app, or get further interested into it and continue following the market. Now let's look at some uh, Ethereum and crypto news. This is Shiba Inu. I think everyone would know about this by now. It's just screamed out in the comments sections, almost like uh, a bit of a scam, but I don't believe this one to be a scam, all right? There are a lot of scams out there. I don't think Shiba Inu is a scam. I just think it's a extremely hyped up meme coin. So the problem with, <laughs> with Shiba Inu is that it is costing a lot in 
in gas fees, or it's bumped up the gas fees from something of around $20 to currently about $180 on Uniswap. So it's taking up a lot of the gas. And an interesting thing to note here, another big token holder is Ethereum's co-founder Vitalik Buterin. According to Shiba Inu token website, 50% of the total supply of tokens was locked up in Uniswap to provide liquidity, supposedly key thrown away, which means that no one can ever touch this other 50%. The other 50% was given to Buterin with the intention of them being taken out of circulation and not to be sold. So with 50% locked up and 50% thrown to Buterin, what's left? I don't know, but it's going to be on uh, Uniswap as some um, liquidity provided. So uh, it, overall, I think this is going to do pretty well. The way I would play Shiba Inu is I would just wait and I, I'm patient in the market. That's why I'm still here four and a half years later, or four years and a bit now later. I would wait for this thing to die out, even if it's in a bear market. That's sweet, okay? But when we get back to these sorts of levels or this sort of look, then I would go in hard. And I would have to expect that we might see a pump and then nothing for months and months and months. But if I can wait those months, then I'm going to get a massive pump after it because this is a crowd favorite. It's a crowd favorite like Dogecoin. And that's the way I'll play Dogecoin again. Wait for the crowds to take off and then I'll load up. eBay officially opens its platform to NFT sales. Now this is going to affect Ethereum, but yes, they're uh, doing their NFT sales on the Wax platform, which is also on Ethereum. What is Wax? King of NFT. So it's a, a better marketplace to be buying and selling for NFTs. But Wax launches new DeFi model to share revenue earned from NFTs. The hybrid Wax and Ethereum blockchain system uses best features of both chains. So all of this is working in together. And again, more exposure to cryptocurrencies, NFTs on eBay using <laughs> Ethereum and Wax. Wax token at the moment is nearly 400 million market cap. This is the beauty about it here. This is the price, three cents, currently sitting at 25 cents. If this happens to catch on a little bit further, I would think we'd see much higher highs than what we've currently seen at 32 cents. Previous highs uh, that we can see here are 38 cents, and then it actually had a massive peak back in January, which was uh, the peak of the previous altcoin season. So that was at around $2.50. So maybe another 10x in it to get to the all time highs. I'm not saying it's going to get there, but this is a pretty good looking chart, especially when you've got things like eBay launching NFTs using specifically WAX. CryptoPunks NFTs sell for 16.9 million. So this is the first big NFT sale at Christie's since the $69 million Beeple sale in March. Nine CryptoPunks, just more NFT news. And although NFTs have dropped off a little bit in the, the news, they're still being bought up a hell of a lot. I would I would have thought this would have went for a lot more if it was in the right in the mix of the NFT craze just a couple of months ago. But this could be a good buy moving forward. 17 million. Imagine if we get another takeoff in NFTs, how this is going to go. Again, it just brings more and more hype to the, the NFT space. So I think there will be another NFT pump coming, which is why I still look into NFT projects. And I have another one coming up on the channel as well. Goldman Sachs executive reportedly resigns after making millions investing in Doge. The main thing out of this is not that we're, you know, someone else is making millions of dollars out of Doge. It's just that there's been a steady migration of talented programmers, quants, traders, and executives into the crypto space over the past four to five years, many of whom have come from elite banks, funds, trading firms, starting their own companies. So the main thing I just see here is, yes, we are getting a shift from traditional into crypto. Of course, that's what we want to hear. So I've got to be careful of uh, the bias that's coming through the news streams. But I don't think it's any surprise that we are seeing more people come into the space. We're going to get a fluctuation in, then probably die off when the market drops. And then we're just going to get higher lows on the way uh, through uh, you know, over the next couple of decades as more people come into the space and continue to build it out. E Ethereum Bitcoin value has screamed away. There's not a sign yet that we are slowing down, but it is getting extremely high. We're just running straight up. Remember, we've talked about these levels before, breakouts of accumulations, buying in and waiting. It was almost two months now since this low, just over two months since we're buying in at the 50% support. Always use 50%. They are fantastic Fibonacci level. There's 100 major anchoring point, major low, 50% uh, halfway point called this accumulation area before we've taken off. And this takeoff now is up about 150%. 
There we go, 140%. So really, really strong. And this is ETH versus BTC. ETH USD, these are the areas that I want to point out so that you can see it on other markets and just know that the buying pressure is heavily, heavily coming in. You can see another one here. As the market dumped on the 23rd of February, huge, the biggest volume Ethereum has seen since the previous dump. Every single one of these dumps is being bought up extremely heavy. And this is what I want to see on Bitcoin, but I'm not seeing it as much on Bitcoin. So that's why I remain cautious on Bitcoin, but extremely bullish on Ethereum. Now, we've also got timeframes to weigh in here. We're getting into our 12th week next week, which is halfway of our ranges, which we know Ethereum loves to do. It loves to do these five to six months moves. And we have to look at halfway ranges as well, which is around three months. So we're getting close to our three months from this low in March, and that's going to come up in June, which is a, another big time for a reversal. So looking at these days that you can use on other charts, big volume, low came in, market tried to go lower, but quickly reversed. And if you look at the subtle detail, the absolute subtle detail, this close was higher than this low. This is the extreme down bar. We tried to go lower again, couldn't hold, and there was no more selling pressure. The selling pressure absolutely dried up and we moved upwards again. That's how you can tell that the market is giving you a signal that we're getting a lot of strong buying, especially after the volume comes in. Then we had another strong buying at these lows, market reversed straight away, it tells you the buying is getting strong. Then we went to new all time highs. The market was scared, it dropped just to test things. More volume came in, this volume is higher than a lot of these bars here, or at least equal or higher than them. And the next day was massive reversal. Then we tried to get scared out again, big volume came in, market reversed. This was the tricky part because we reversed on a signal. But the next day, some of the biggest volume again, uh, market's been bought up a hell of a lot. And then the rest is history. We're away, away, away. Look at this extreme volume. Market hits our first target of 3,000, second target of 3,500 within a couple of days. It hits that and we know that we're going to see some sort of price resistance. Reverse bought up massively, massively bought up on that day because we reversed again. Now, just two days ago, we saw it again, volume not as high and the close not as uh, convincing. So although we're getting bought up uh, and we probably will go to major, major highs from this point, we're just at new all time highs as I'm recording this at $4,200. Uh, now is probably not the time to be going all in on something. This could go to eight thousand US dollars. It could double from this point. But remember, that's only a hundred percent from this point. It's nothing like buying it at these lows from two thousand going two thousand to call it eight thousand. Then you got your one hundred, two hundred, three hundred percent return. So one hundred is already now at four thousand dollars, then six thousand, then eight thousand. So this could quite easily double and uh and you're only getting a hundred percent. And then I'd be on the lookout for pretty much is a top going to come in anywhere between now and I'd say the next few weeks I'm looking for signals of a top. Like I said, six months is a possibility. But I think now that we've started this huge skyrocketing uh, look on Ethereum, then I'm, I'm definitely on the lookout for for tops, but I want to see it come in first. I'm not going to be calling a top every time we go up into new highs. I want to see a signal. Our next targets are around four and a half and five thousand US dollars this level has treated us very, very well. This, this Fibonacci uh, level, extension level from the low to the high, and then our 100% levels, 200, 300 at 5,000. And then we have six and a half thousand sitting at 400%. So we're, we'll readjust this in future videos. I hope that helps understand where we are with Ethereum uh, and around FOMOing on something which is up a hell of a lot. Uh, be very careful when markets go straight up. And we'll keep an eye out for future re-entry points on Ethereum because this is still looking very strong for this bull market, even though we are skyrocketing at the moment. Thank you once again, guys. Follow me on Instagram for daily Q&As. Twitter, lots going on over there. Heaps of crypto news over there. But yeah, get across to all of those and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for your comments on wins, uh, good profits being made, and your understanding how to read charts. So that's awesome as well. If you want to learn more, leave your email address down below. We just released our weekly newsletter. That's completely free. So drop your email down there. The Investor Accelerator course is also down there as well. If you want to sign up to that to learn more about trading and investing, crypto stocks, property, lots of that on the channel. 
and make sure you like, share, subscribe. Push the content out to more people and show them how easy it is to remain safe in these crazy markets. Thanks once again, guys. Until next video, have more fun to get more done.